Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Somebody had dumped a gallon of paint down the drain <laughs> in the toilet. Literally dripping with bio. Mm. Ew! <laughs> Sewage leak. I think that actually came out of a human being. Somebody had dumped a gallon of paint down the drain <laughs> in the toilet. The smell isn't bad at all, but this just happened a little bit ago. So we are going to sort through and discard anything that is touching the sewage, the water itself, because it's a biohazard. I'm just gonna go in and take some pictures for inventory purposes. Kind of hand the non-contaminated stuff over to Nick on the exterior of the garage so we can get to work. So anything that's not touching the floor will be moved onto the bed. And this stuff is going to be the keep stuff. All right. That has to go in a bio bed and that has to go in a bio bin. That's saved. There's whatever in that bag it has to go. That has to go, that's disgusting. This has to go. Styrofoam saved the George Foreman. This is bio, so let's do this. This is all wrapped in plastic, so this is good to go. Just the box has to go. That has to be discarded literally dripping with bio. Mm. So just take and just drop that whole thing in, a, in the... Ew! Piece by piece. Piece by piece. So they told us that we can start yet, or...? I think this is disgusting. situation. I've already got a picture of this. It's like all up in it. Yeah. Trash. Mm -hmm. Nick, I found a beanbag chair for you. Oh, gee, thanks, Charles. You know what I always wanted. I figure. First glove change, I suppose. Oh, you mean how it's like 95 degrees out and hum humidity of 100%? Because you can't walk three steps without sweating? Yeah, it's lovely. And then this mess that we just love to deal with just does not work. The combination in total sucks. All right, let me get some more inventory photos and then we can just take the stuff from the back of here. The box, yeah, that can go. Careful for the trip edge. And there's a motor. Gas. I don't think they'll be good enough. I'm hoping about the headphones are not expensive. Save, save. Save, save. Papers, hold on. Oh, you're 
here's contaminated. That's all gone. It's literally seeped up the box. Everything else is saturated. Luckily, I didn't touch anything. <laughs> I just lifted up one more thing. Yeah. That must be nice. I got a cow. You're good. Where do I put this? I don't know. It's the best I got. I have it there. I got it. Somewhere out of the way. Ooh, that went right up into my rib cage. New I didn't need. Did you just? Sanitizing, getting the poo off it. So I'm gonna wipe it down with paper towels, but I'm just gonna spray it all first. And I'm gonna do the same with this nasty bike tire. Like to see this. I'll be able to pull it. I just gotta get my feet. Hey Nick, don't rip your pants. Hey Kyle, you're about 20 minutes too late. So thanks for the, the heads up. I was talk I wasn't talking about eating this, I was talking about slipping and like look, you can see my slide print. I almost ate it, like ate the dust. Never mind. Martinis to be exact. <laughs> Thing I've ever done in my entire life, right here. My favorite job ever. They all just swarmed out of the hole. All of them just swarmed from the hole. Sanitize this, please. Well, it was a, well, shitty, it was day a shitty day for us, but the client was extremely happy. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Pause for the cause and ring that bell to get notifications when we launch our new episodes every Thursday. Have a good day, guys. Peace. For more information, visit any of our locations. That's it, guys. On to the next.